treacle and uh, he's a little bit scared right now. He's very pedal. He used to digress because I haven't had time. He used to be able to be very holdable, but it's been two months since I've been working with him. And uh, so he needs that all over again. This is Sheena. She's a good girl. I have a hard time getting her to eat cat food. She likes human food more than she likes cat food. And uh, she likes to play. She likes to sleep with me. And uh, she's, a, she's a talker. She's a good girl. This is Henrietta. She's a good girl. And she doesn't mind being petted, but she doesn't like being held. So somebody would have to work with her. Well, she wouldn't hurt you. This is Amanda. And uh, she's a talker. She'll tell you when she wants something. And uh, they're all freaked out right now because they're in a different room in a different situation than they normally normally been in. So there you go. Alright. Next is of course Cody. Where are you, Cody? Come on, buddy. Cody would never hurt you, but he doesn't like being held. And um, he probably needs Prozac. Okay. Uh, as you can see, he was very feral, but there's no biting, there's no scratching. He's not mean. And those are the cats that I'm trying to get a home for. And I don't have time to socialize them anymore. They were a hundred times more feral than, than that. Before I worked with them, they would have bit you and hurt you. And uh, it's, it's amazing how far they've come. If I had more time and I had more money, they'd all be adoptable. But Cody's the worst than the last guy I showed you. Please help them. They don't really even need to stay at that farm. If somebody worked with them like I did individually, they'd be fine. It'd be super fun. They're a hell of a lot better than they were before. I love you all. Please, please help the cats. Thank you.